um, child activists for prevention. So it, it is going to encourage everyone to speak out and to do advocacy campaigns and to take part in marches and demonstrations about that particular issue. Because a lot of children who, who, who are survivors of gender-based violence, they, they can't speak out, but like I want to try a little bit to motivate them about speaking out. My name is Andy Siwe Mbelegane from Masifundele Na Development, one of the campaign coordinators for the Child Activist Prevention, CAP in short. What is different about this campaign is that a group of young, enthusiastic high school learners um, I remembering Amahle from Gumbu Eastern Cape. Amahle was part of the Junior Commissioner's Project of the SAPS, a school safety ambassador and an activist for children's rights. And Amahle um, terribly committed suicide due to experiencing gender-based violence. She couldn't take it and she couldn't speak out. So her colleagues, the junior commissioners, um, in remembrance of Amahle and honoring Amahle, they contributed and created ways of speaking out, which is what they feel is important. Abuse does not stop itself. We need to report it to someone, someone who will help us as soon as possible. Keep telling people until someone listens. Remember, we are the generation, a generation whose voice will be heard. So that we may heal, let us speak out so that we may be free. Let's end the silence. Um, these learners from all over South Africa, different provinces, because they've gathered together virtually because of how things are, um, especially the, uh, during this time of the pandemic. So they managed to gather the junior commissioners of the South African police and also the change makers of Masifunde from the Eastern Cape, Nelson Mandela Bay, to meet virtually having meetings, having webinars. They came up with material for the campaign such as t-shirts like the one I'm wearing right now, masks and caps. They also came with the slogans and logos for the campaign and they decided that there are, there are strong messages that we have a right to be had. It's never too late to speak out. And I felt like I had to do something, even though I'm young. So that is why I say, don't let them take an advantage of you just because you're quiet. Speaking is not the only way of showing your emotions. So stand up and take an action and speak for yourselves and they manage to share ideas around how they're going to encourage their peers to speak out about abuse, how they're going to educate and raise awareness about abuse and also emphasize the importance of reporting abuse, whether you experience it or you witness it. It can't go on like this. It cannot continue like this. This should end now. This should end here. So go out to each and every person you trust and let them know about the issue. This should be your first step. Then your second step should be taking matters to the police and get to open the case. And that is where the healing process starts. Stay safe and don't forget to speak out.